My name is Will Banfield. I'm a catcher for the Blue Wahoos. I started playing baseball when I was four years old. As a kid, you know, I, I would always take baseball seriously. Uh, I would always want to be out there and, you know, all, a lot of kids are playing with dirt, you know, throwing it up in the air when you're really young and stuff. I was always, you know, right there and ready to play. I wasn't, you know, messing around that much on the field. I wanted to compete. I wanted to be out there and play baseball. My family, my mom and my dad, uh, when I started playing baseball, kind of sparked that that love for baseball and to play. Um, you know, my mom is my rock, and she's been there with me, you know, through it all. So uh, having her behind me and, you know, in the stands and even, you know, throughout my career to, to now and knowing that she's always there and watching games at home, it always keeps me going. I have mom on my catcher's equipment, but uh, my routine when I catch or uh, if I'm DHing that day or whatever, I ride it in the dirt uh, right beside, uh, right before the game starts. Yeah. We have great fans here in Pensacola, and we're so lucky to have the fans that we have. They'll bring us like chicken tenders, you know what I mean? For like, yeah, like a rain delay or whatever. So our last our last rain delay, I was DHing, and they went up and grabbed some chicken tenders and some fries and brought them back down. and. You know, we're munching in the locker room, and we're so so thankful for that. I, I would say that's pretty cool. I would say on and off the field, uh, learning myself more as a hitter, um, as a catcher, as a person, uh, making sure that I'm not taking a day off in work. You know, every single time I'm in the cage or, you know, in BP, um, I'm giving it my all. Um, you know, I'm working on something specifically. I'm not just out there to be out there. Figuring out myself as a person and a player um, and having, you know, those two separate things um, it's nice because, you know, we're at the field all day, but then also at the same time we go back to the house and, you know, whether you played bad that day or, you know, you played good or you're in a little slump or, you know, you're playing the best you've ever played or whatever it is, you know, you have to go back back to the house um, and it's just kind of you and you, you know, for the rest of the night until the next, next day that you're coming to the field. So I would say, uh, you know, separating that and, you know, making sure that I'm holding it down on both ends. I would say very energetic. Um, you know, I feel like I'm never, you know, kind of sleep in a locker room or on the field. I would also say, I would say a, a leader. You know, we have a lot of leaders on this team, though, and everybody on the team can be a leader. Um, I would say in that fact of just, you know, being the catcher, you know, that is really a main job of that is, you know, being a leader of the team and, um, Coming in every single day, like I've been saying, we have newer guys in the clubhouse and trying to, you know, make sure that we're all, you know, glued in together, especially before playoffs. So I want to win a World Series, um, you know, and it starts, and like I've been saying, it starts here, you know, and winning the championship last year, going to the playoffs this year, you know, it, it gives us the feel of, you know, a little bit of taste of what that, that postseason run and, you know, playoff run and a championship feels like. Obviously, it's a way bigger scale, you know, World Series, but I want to win a World, World Series and I work every single day to win every single day. And I feel like that's our goal always is to win when we get, come on the field. So that's, you know, really what kind of inspires me you know, and what I look forward to in the future. I like golfing a lot. I'm not the best at it, but picked it up uh, in 2020. So started golfing then, um, hanging out with friends, family. Um, my girlfriend goes to UGA, so we go to a lot of football games. And yeah, so try to, try to do that and uh, yeah, just kind of hang out. I would say I'm the fifth. I don't think a lot of people know that. Uh, I'm the fifth, so V. I want to get V on the back of my jersey, though. Uh, I feel like, and I want it to be announced, too. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but I, I've only met one other fifth, and that's on the Mississippi Braves who were playing this week. Yeah, he was Franklin, the other fifth. Yeah, yeah, and I noticed that the first time we played him this year. I was like, wow, that's the first, first fifth I've ever met. That's every kid's dream uh, to play pro ball when, you know, you're younger, growing up through, you know, high school and uh, trying to figure out where you're going to go to college and, you know, having this opportunity to play pro ball and the, the opportunity that the Miami Marlins gave me to be able to play ro pro ball and, you know, live out my dream to play baseball, you know, for a living is, you know, it's unreal. And I'm so humbled to be able to, you know, be here and play the game that I love every single day. And I know that not everybody has this opportunity. So when I'm out here, I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna work behind the scenes. I wanna make sure that I'm ready for each day. So um, I'm, I'm very lucky and, you know, I'll praise the God for that.